y'all. This is Hope. <clears throat> um, I just want to make this short video to let the ones know, my family members, and then I have some extended family who are going through a tough time because of um, personal loss. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to get through this without without crying. I didn't think that I was, but anyway, um, I just want to let you know that I'm here for you. I may not say much. Um, I may not say much, but I am here for you, and I'm thinking about you. Trust and believe that you are in my prayers. Um, and when I refer to personal loss, I'm not just referring to a person, a family member, a friend passing away. I think personal loss can also refer to as maybe a pet dying, whether it's expected or unexpectedly, because people don't realize who are not pet owners that pets are someone who can be very extremely close to an individual and to the family. Um, I have suffered personal loss. I know the feeling. And I think it especially hurts me because I know the feeling. I know the feeling. And um, I know what it feels like to hurt. I know what it feels like to hurt, and I, I'm sure as all of us know what it feels like to hurt, you know, from losing someone. You know, I lost my mother, I lost my father. I remember the day, I remember the, um, the situation, I remember where I was, I remember my surroundings of, you know, of how I felt, and um, when my mom died, when I heard about that, I was by myself. When I heard that my dad died, I was actually at a doctor's office. And I remember just dropping the phone. My sister called me and I just dropped the phone. I mean, I just look, actually I threw it my phone down because um, I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to believe it. Um, but again, I want to let you guys know that I'm here for you. I understand. People say, you know, be encouraged. They'll say, you know, things will get better. But you know what? Just feel how you feel. Just feel how you feel. You know, I can, I can think about my mom now and not cry. I can think about my dad and not cry. And the tears are now, are not for me. They're for my, my family. They're for my extended family. They're for my friends who have lost. I, I'm, it, it, I feel, I'm very empathetic, I, and I, the way I feel, I, sorry for my just blubbering, but, um, I feel what people are feeling, I have felt this way for many, many years, I can literally feel what a person is feeling, and it hurts, because they're hurting. I don't know if that's God's way of helping me to uh, help me to absorb some of their hurt. I don't know. But I feel what they're feeling. Um, I'm not sure what else to say, but I understand. So, one thing I, I will say this, you know, regarding my father. Um... Sometimes I can't believe that he's gone, <laughs> and when I realize that he is gone, it's like I'm feeling that all over again. I remember, I remember when my mom um, passed away, there was maybe, I would say five years later, I remember walking across the street, a busy street with my daughter, getting to daycare. And we're talking about a five-lane um, highway. You know, you got to cross. I got to cross the street to get to daycare. And in the middle of the street, I'm thinking. Well, I'm walking. I'm thinking. I need to call my mom and let her know something about my daughter Lacey, what she did. 
And while I was walking in the middle of the street, I realized that she was she was no longer with me. I stopped in the middle of the street and had my daughter. My daughter, she looked at me and she said, Mom, um, because there, there were cars coming, so I had to hurry up and cross the street. And it's, it's amazing, you know, the people who are close to you that you love and they're, they're no longer here, the things that you go through. My brother wrote a song. Um, I can try to remember the words. When we remember the times that we share with them, we feel the pain within. Then we ask the Lord, why does this have to be? He says, let my will be done. Lord, rid, rid of this pain that I feel within. Um, basically, just taking, you know, asking the Lord to take away the pain. The pain is going to go away. It will go away. You will feel better eventually. I'm not going to say when. I'm not going to say um, to what degree. But the sun will shine again. Now when I think about my parents, when I think about other uh, people that I've lost, I even lost a pet, you know. Um, I remember the good times. I remember the good times that I shared with them. I remember all the good things. And I think this is also hitting a little close to home too because my son texted me last night and said that um, he almost got hit by a car while he was working. And that took me back when I was pregnant with him. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. That took me back when I was pregnant with him. When I almost got hit when I was driving and almost got hit with the car. And it just took me back right then when I was pregnant. And I could not, I may not have had my son. We may not be here to this day. And I wouldn't have beautiful grandchildren, you know, by him. But, um, like I said, I'm here. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm here. I'm going to text away. I'm going to call away. I'm going to email away. So reach out to me. I know you already have family and friends that you can reach out to. But I have a very good listening ear. Very good. I can cry with you. I'm, I can do whatever needs to be done. So I just want to just um, just make this, you know, this video. And just let you know, guys know that you are in my heart. You are in my heart. And just take care.